Anyway, stay safe. Stop killing each other. Keep your ass at home. They're the three valid points. All right, safe. Now, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So there's got to be some concerning disconnect in the maternal gene when it comes to 36-year-old Nicola Layton. This woman is so far removed from the qualities of what it means to actually be a mother because she committed one of the biggest atrocities you could ever commit, almost to the point where I would say she has no right to be a mom. I would class her as a vermin, and that's me being respectful. As a mother, how on earth can you actively enable your teenage son to go out and kill another kid for the whole of South East London to witness? This out-and-out -out disgrace of a mum made the conscious decision to take her teenage murderer son, 19-year-old Tyrese Ulysses, and his three friends on a quote-unquote ride out in Sydenham, South East London, to murder a teenager who has been described by his mum as autistic and disabled. Correct me if I'm wrong, but preying on a teenager who is at a disadvantage when it comes to relating to other people or feelings pertaining to social norms makes you an out-and-out -out scumbag. The disability, which affects how people communicate and interact with the world, puts the individual already at a disadvantage. And now, three teenagers and a mum have taken his life away for what? Think about what I just said for a moment, process it, digest the allegations. A mother, a person who's supposed to nurture and guide their offspring and hopefully encourage them to become an upstanding member of society, knowingly played a significant role in the death of 17-year-old Levi Ernest Morrison in what has been described as a pre-planned attack. Why? Alright, so it could be argued that the mum did not know what her child and her friends were going to do, but it's pretty hard to hide four machetes in the car and couple that with the fact that tyres were heard screeching at the scene of the crime before three teenagers jumped out to ambush Levi Morrison and the mum decided to jump out too and get in on the attack. The murder that took place on April 10th in broad daylight in the vicinity of shocked witnesses. The court heard how four suspects, yes the mum was included, 36 year old Nicola Layton began attacking the teenager. Again, this was a pre-planned attack that must have left the 17 year old Levi Morrison confused and dumbfounded and in excruciating pain. Excruciating pain is an understatement. Witnesses at the crime scene described a good Samaritan attending to the dying victim and explained how he actually held the victim's organs inside his shredded body. The mum, who I have no words to adequately describe her, should have known better. Instead of getting involved in attack and striking Levi Morrison and stabbing him, she should have sat her teenage son down, looked him in the eye and told him no child of mine will be a convicted murderer and to stop and fix his bad man persona and read a book. Instead, what she did was join in on the murder. Along with 19-year-old Tyrese Ulysses, three teenagers aged 14, 15 and 17 have also been charged with the murder, along with Tyrese Ulysses' mum. 17-year-old Levi Morrison was described as a beautiful boy with a beautiful heart. He was also autistic and had a disability. For all his imitations, he lived the best life he could, and in return, Four teenagers and a piece of SHIT mum took his life away from him because she did not have the grit and balls to actually be a mother and stop her son from killing another person. I mean, he was literally stabbed to death in the midst of a busy street right off the junction, Hazelgrove, for everybody to see. That shows that despite this was a pre-planned attack, the need and urgency to act out such a heinous crime was more important than actually covering their tracks. Do you know how spiteful and vengeful you have to be to kill someone in front of witnesses and not give a care in the world if you are caught? Again, this attack was so horrific that one witness described a man holding the teenage victim's guts in his own body for at least 10 minutes until paramedics arrived. That's the kind of stuff that nightmares are made of. Imagine the blood on your hands trying to save that young person's life. That will haunt you forever. All I can say is condolences to Levi's family and friends. And as for the mum that is charged with murder, if it comes to the point where she's actually found guilty, I'll let you lot in the comment section suggest some form of punishment for her. Stay safe. Safe.